All right, folks, today we're making this amazing looking nacho table. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Let's get this video started with preparing the sauces and dips for our nacho table. You will need one onion, diced, garlic, diced, a cast iron pan, oil and ground beef. 750 grams of ground beef. But of course, as always, we put the list of ingredients inside the video description so you can check it out. You could also check the video description for some interesting links. There are my fan pages available. You will find 0815 barbecue everywhere on Facebook, on Insta and on TikTok. Season the beef with barbecue rub. Make some space in the middle of the pan to add onions and garlic. And then give it a good mix. Add tomato paste. Give it a good mix again. You never go wrong with a dash of beer. Tomato sauce. Some cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, garlic and some beef stock. Let that simmer and in the meantime prepare a quick salsa and a guacamole. Red onion will be cut in half and then in quarters. Save one half for the guacamole. Garlic, quarter again. Spring onions, clean and cut into some smaller pieces. Doesn't have to be perfect because we will proceed this anyway. Place everything, adding parsley inside that kitchen tool chili and start mixing. After these have the right consistency add lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic and cherry tomatoes. Mix again and you will end up with a nice looking quick salsa perfect for your nacho table. Refrigerate for 20 minutes, clean the tool Add garlic, spring onions, red onions for your guacamole. Two medium sized tomatoes cut into smaller pieces will go in as well. Lemon juice. Proceed again. You will now end up with a thin tomato sauce which will get the right consistency after adding two avocados. Season with some Terrano sea salt a mixture of dried olives, onion, tomatoes and salt. Put your guacamole into a small bowl and refrigerate. Final sauce is a cheese sauce starting with butter and flour, following by milk. Stir until it has a great consistency. Should not be too thick. Add one spoon of cream cheese. Add salt, pepper and cayenne pepper for some heat. Add a little bit of chicken stock to get a thinner consistency because we want it creamy and we will add some cheddar cheese now. So here is the consistency I was looking for. Start with one piece of grated cheddar cheese, one bag. And now check if you need one more. Yes, you will need one more. Put on lower heat and let that simmer until you have a creamy consistency. And then we're gonna get inside and prepare the table. You will need a baking paper and of course a good amount of nachos or Doritos. We have the salted one, we have the cheesy one. This is approximately 500 grams of nachos per bag. So we're using 1.5 kilo of nachos today. It was fun for the whole family for preparing this wonderful party idea. And uh, we really had a lot of fun because you don't need any plates. You just eat this with your bare hands. Start topping the nachos in different versions. Start with one meat sauce only. Then add some with meat sauce and cheese sauce. Then some nachos with cheese sauce only. 
add some sriracha over a part of that cheese sauce. I decided to add some pickled jalapenos on one part of the cheese sauce. Place your salsa and your guacamole in the middle. Some more hot sauce if you like. And now feel free to eat your nachos straight away from the table. It was fun for the whole family. Really, really good stuff. Delicious sauces. This was big fun for the whole family. Of course, make sure to have the right beverages to go with this nacho table. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about that. What would be your topping? Of course, we're gonna give this a shot right now. Thank you for watching. I'm out. See you.